Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a minute since we last spoke, and that's mainly because my attention was drawn away from, well, my cars and YouTube. Uh, my mom's been laid up in the hospital for about the last month. She did come down with COVID over that time, and, well, my attention has been elsewhere. Now, those of you that knew this privately and have reached out to me um, with your well wishes, thank you all so much for, for caring. My mom is looking better. It looks like she's actually going to be released from the hospital shortly. So things are positive, uh, and we can get back to... To, uh, playing around with our cars. Now I know I left you hanging a little bit, right? We talked about the McLaren possibly going in for service. We talked about the Aston Martin possibly coming home. We talked about possible mods for the Jeep and well, a giveaway. So it is time to address all of those. There's a lot of possibilities in there. So let's start with the one that's most definitive and that's this giveaway. Okay guys, now on to the giveaway. Uh, now, if you remember on the giveaway, it is a Chemical Guys car cleaning kit. Uh, it's got everything from your chamois, your sponges, a bunch of chemicals and a bucket in there to start you off right. Now, I know most of you guys probably have some gear at home, but this is just gonna fill in the gaps maybe of what you don't have to make sure that your car is spotless. Uh, so now in order to be uh, eligible for the giveaway, all you had to do was like, comment, and subscribe uh, on the wrap video. Now there were a couple of comments on there from family members, so they are discounted right away. Uh, all I did was download a random number generator from iTunes and plug in the number of comments and then click random. Uh, number four, has one, and I just realized that didn't show. So uh, there you go. Number, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Number four, right there, uh, one. Number four is Dr. Exotics, which is kind of cool. I actually went to a Cars and Coffee and met them. Uh, cool dude. So Dr. Exotics, I will hit you up on Instagram uh, and get your address so I can send this all off to you. This is pretty dope. Also guys, uh, if you're not uh, on Instagram, you can follow me there and also follow Dr. Exotics. He's got a pretty sick Shelby Mustang uh, that's just got a new wrap. So go check it out. Guys, and now for the car updates that I promised you. Uh, so the Aston Martin is in fact back. It's crazy to think that I haven't had that car for four months now. Four months! Uh, it has been in the body shop as well as the mechanic uh, doing various things. Now we do have one more stop and that's getting the windows retinted. Uh, so it'll actually be going off uh, tomorrow, in fact, uh, to get that done. But otherwise the car is completely buttoned up, which is crazy. So I will do a full walkthrough of everything we've done on this car to date and actually show you guys everything that's happened since the last time it's been on the channel. Now the McLaren is gone. The McLaren is off at San Francisco McLaren getting a few things taken care of. So the noise we heard in the back um, yeah, it was just tires. The, the, the tires are actually balding uh, in the rear so badly that I was hearing a weird noise, uh, but nothing there. Uh, now the front control arms, those are a known problem on the 650S and well, exactly the noise that we thought they were is what they are. So those need to be replaced. Uh, and then lastly, there was a small leak from a boot in the rear. So they're gonna be taking care of that as well. So the McLaren is getting fixed and should be on its way home relatively soon. Now I say that they have to order parts and we all know getting anything right now is a kind of a pain. So the car may be back tomorrow. It may be back in a month. Who knows? On the Jeep front, uh, I did order wheels and tires for the Jeep they're darn near impossible to come in. I don't know what's going on uh, as far as tires are concerned, but uh, they're just not coming. Wheels, uh, I can get my hands on some wheels and, and the ones that I ordered are in fact in stock and on the way, but tires, I got nothing. So as soon as the tires come in, we will start modding that. The last thing uh, I briefly mentioned on another video was that the McLaren needed some more carbon fiber. And um, I may have, I may have gone overboard. Nah, you can't go overboard with carbon fiber. Anyway, a lot of carbon fiber is now in my garage awaiting the return of the McLaren. So, um, you know what, let's stop talking about it. Let's get out there and uh, I'll show you the Aston Martin. Actually, before I show you guys the Aston Martin, let me go outside and clean it because a car four months in the shop uh, collects a lot of dust and grime and dirt. It's actually disgusting. I drove it home and my sleeves were covered in basically brown dust from sitting in the back of the mechanic shop in the body shop for the last four months. Crazy to think you buy a car and you don't own it for four months. Anyway, let's go check it out. Uh, 
uh, all my detailing friends, you probably want to turn away for the next minute or two. My foam cannon just broke, so I'm gonna use the two bucket system and probably do all kinds of things wrong. So, so turn away now and fast forward a minute. looks with this new ski slope the dash just looks well, honestly it looks fairly new not having this car for four months it is crazy how much I miss the sound of this engine <laughs> there's just something about a v12 that cannot be replaced so a couple of the features that you guys have not yet seen on the car since it got back from the body shop is we got a new skid plate and we repainted the entire front end of the car. See, the grill was painted blue by the previous owner and to me, it just didn't look right. It didn't stand out enough. OEM is platinum or gray. I could have taken it back that route, but I went black because we did order, if you remember, the OEM black Aston Martin DB9 wheels and that gloss black on the wheels with the gloss black on the grill, uh, it just pops so much more. The other feature, if you guys remember, is by US regulation, there are two nubs on the back of the car that surround the license plate. It holds the lights as well as the trunk release mechanism. I went ahead and ordered the Euro spec one. It tucks underneath. Uh, and then we created this back plate that looks just like it would for a European plate, but mounted a US plate to it. And I think it looks sick. It completely changes the back end of this car. No more of those big warts on it. Uh, and to me, it just looks so much cleaner. Great fix, took a while to figure out. It's an aluminum top and a lot of body shops didn't want to mess with that. But this is completely reversible. So if the next owner ever wants to take it back to, well, those ugly US reg warts, they can't. I truly do miss this car. It's been four months that this car hasn't been in my life. And it's funny, I started to actually talk myself out of this car. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we're not quite done with the Aston. We are going to get these windows retinted. Remember, I just took off the old window tint uh, because it was all warped and starting to, uh, to age. So we are gonna get that redone tomorrow, in fact. So the car is nearly there. Uh, quite literally, every last thing has been gone over and repaired, fixed, or updated, if you will, on this car. And it is almost complete. And I kind of can't wait to get it out and drive it and enjoy it uh, in the manner in which it was meant. I've spent so much time fixing this darn thing that I kind of forgot how much fun it was to drive. So there you have it, guys. The Aston Martin is finally home and almost complete. There's a couple of small things that are still left to do, the windows being one, uh, and then, like I said, some seriously small things. I'm changing out the lug nuts uh, to match the wheels. Right now, they're just painted black and some of the paint is chipping off. Uh, but other than that, the car is back, and I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. Uh, it's been a lot of work to get it here, but this car is all sorted, it is clean, and it is driving Oh, so sweet. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below and hit the little bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. And guys, that giveaway, honestly, that was an absolute blast to do. I had so much fun doing that. I think I'm gonna do it again. Uh, please be subscribed and stay tuned because there will be another giveaway coming to the channel. Uh, maybe some more chemical guys, maybe something even better. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.